Southwest Colorado and Kansas and Iowa State. Check your local list. I know that sounds radical when you <laughs> when you have a one point lead with this 16 seconds to play. You foul somebody, but boy, the way it's gone for Oklahoma State, you wouldn't do it unless you had to. I yeah, know. I'm not sure. I don't think you do it just right off the bat. Play good, solid defense. Make a couple switches on the outside. Robinson Lambert will be down low. I know if you did it and they made two, you'd feel pretty silly. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> Well, the odds are, uh, the fact that they do get the free throw line, odds are that they'll probably make one or two of them. 16 seconds to play. Oklahoma State with the ball, down one. Dorsey to Peterson. Uh, 10 seconds. Lambert. Seven seconds, and Scare and Winfield buck, and the foul's on Julian Winfield with 6.6 .6 seconds to play. And they foul Jason Scare, who is a good shooter from the field shooting just 58 percent at the line well they didn't want to foul there you know down eight seconds Winfield a really good solid defender a little bit of contact there but really not a lot of contact no that's surprising so now scare with his team down one will shoot two that's ten fouls on Missouri 6.6 .6 seconds to play he could put him in front by one Now all they can do is tie it. Now Missouri wants a timeout. One look at Eddie Sutton shaking his head. What can you do? Yeah, all you can do is put kids in a great position to win a game. And I tell you what, they, they have missed so many free throws. Okay, no timeouts left for either side. Now where we are on free throws? Is that 11 for 31 now? Probably about 11 for, I want to say 33. Unbelievable. Well, they could tie it with 6.6 .6 seconds to play. It's just been unbelievable night at the free throw line for Oklahoma State. The Missouri huddle, that's what it seems looking at you. There's Norm Stewart. Well, you know, you always try to go on the road in the Big Eight. You try to steal one. And uh, if Tigers get out of here, they've played well. But you'd have to say it's a little bit of a gift because the Cowboys have just from the free throw line alone just handed them maybe a ball game. And remember this, Oklahoma State has stolen a couple of rebounds off of missed free throws in this half. Lambert, in fact, tipped one in. There's 11 for 31. Now, Missouri's going to have to block out A because you expect to miss. B, with no timeouts, you take the ball, put it in probably Kendrick Moore's hand, the quickest of the... Let him go as far as he can. Against Nebraska, he took it all the way in and got fouled. If not, you have Sutherland probably on his side. You have Grimm on his side. You'll have Thames inside. Six and a half seconds is plenty of time to push the basketball up to get a good shot. That's Jason Scare, a 6'7 sophomore. Hasn't scored tonight. Just missed the free throw attempt. Has one left for the tie. Again, 59-58 Missouri, 6.6 .6 seconds to play. And Barry Grimm has it for Missouri, and he's fouled, and they just fouled an 88% free throw shooter. 11 for 32 at the line for Oklahoma State. Unbelievable. What can you say about it? What can you do about it if you're a coach? Look at that bench. Yeah, Grimm at 89%, 100%, 12 of 12 in the last two minutes of a ball game. Well, you know that still, I mean, you know, it's funny, the game's not over. If no. he makes two, you're still three down, you got a chance to tie. They have to bring it up quickly and get the shot. It will probably be Peterson handling the basketball. Barry Grimm with his first point of the ball game. This one, if he makes it, will well, make it a three-point lead. You know, for young players out there, Grimm is a 6'10 player. Watch how simple his stroke is. He lines his right foot up to the target. A couple quick bounces. Doesn't fool around doing anything fancy. Just lines it up, keeps it straight ahead. Harry Grimm made a go, three-point lead, Missouri. Marlon Dorsey, foul. Now 2.2 seconds play, not a bad play. Well, good foul, you didn't want him to get the shot up for the possibility of a tie. Now they really have to block out. Tell you what, they call them free throws, but Oklahoma State has played a terrible price for them tonight, haven't they? Well, it's just hard, you put so much pressure on your defense and everything else if you can't make free throws. 
You put yourself in a position offensively to get good shots at the basket. Outside and then inside, you're going to the hole, drawing contact. Can't finish a play. It makes it easy for the opponent. Okay, Marvin Dorsey, 75% shooter. He'll shoot two. If he makes the first one, now what do you do? Now he has to make it and then miss it. Well, now he has to miss this one. They have to hope for a long, long rebound. See, Peterson just backed off the free throw line. He is going to stay out by the three-point line for a long rebound. They're going to try to swing, knock it out, and really throw up a Hail Mary. Missouri's just going to have to go for the basketball. They have to miss, knock in a three. There's, and that's the one he made. Try to miss it, he made it. Do you believe that? 11 for 12 for 34 at the free throw line. He's over him in this game. Well, they found him. Well, there is some time. Six tenths of a second on the clock. So Oklahoma State 12 for 34 at the free throw line. And Missouri is going to come out of gallagher with a huge road win. They have lost seven straight conference games on the road. They're going to win this one tonight. They're going to go out of here six and four in the conference. Six Doesn't that eight. figure, though? Dorsey tried to miss it. It hits below the rim, and it crawls over and goes in. Wow. Very good. You talked about how basic his stroke it's is. It's just simple, and you like to see that. Straight ahead, lines it up. No wasted motion. Six tenths of a second to play. Oklahoma State's only hope is the miss here, and he didn't do it. There's the four-point lead now is six tenths of a second to play, and this one is over. Big win by the Tigers on the road, and tough break for Eddie Sutton's ball club. 63-59, Missouri wins it. For John Sunville, Fred White, thanks for watching, and good night from Stillwater, Oklahoma.